welcome everybody back today for another thrift rescuing wednesday um i uh, now officially we are doing 12 o'clock and not 11 30. and it did help me although apparently i decided to try and go grocery shopping this morning instead of last night because i couldn't get out during the day because they've been doing so much construction on my street they're replacing a lot of the pipes but they're not telling us if they're actually replacing any of the lead pipes that they've been doing like in the city so I've been uh, careful with my water, although I didn't find this out because they told me uh, I found this out because my sister was like, yeah, that's what they've been doing in the city. And they have this like big project to get some of the lead pipes out. And I'm like, cool, thanks. Uh, I'm glad that nobody ever tells you what's going on. They literally like spray painted across my sidewalk, which they haven't dug up, which I don't know how I'm going to get off because it's hideous. Um, not that it matters, but it's giant everywhere. Um, but yeah, so I've been dealing with that. Uh, today I did get to go and do a little thrifting. Um, I found a couple of good pieces. Uh, I wasn't really looking for all that much too special there because I've been doing a lot more and trying to do the back end of my business. So I haven't been going through as many beads or as many of everything else. Um, I'm still actually filling some of the candles that I got last time, um, specifically also because uh, I went to go and order more wax, and the shipping was, I think, $70. So uh, I priced everything and figured it out so that it would be uh, with what I had gotten last time, and it only cost $20 in shipping. And I was hoping that it would still be $20, even though I was getting more this time, but it's not. And I don't know whether I'm going to go and try and find another source for my wax or if I want to go with them again, just because with shipping being $70, that almost doubles the price of the wax. The wax is $90 uh, for, I think, a 45 pound case, which isn't bad, but it's $70 just for shipping. So it's almost doubling it. And once that happens, I'm not sure. Uh, what all we're gonna do with all of that. So I did get some jewelry. Let's start off with the jewelry section for today and then we'll get more into the thrift rescuing and everything else. Um, also, before we go on any further, one of the things that I ended up playing around with, which took me a while because I insisted on making my own business cards at home with the uh, thrifted business cards that I got which was a total pain on the butt getting everything line up and there were times that like it should have and I didn't even change anything and then I reprinted it and it was fine but this is my little tiny business card right here it has a little flower and says thrift rescuing with my name very tinily and then in the back it just says thrift rescuing it has my number the email that I have set up just for a thrift rescuing which is thrift rescuing 412 at gmail and then thriftrescuing.com is my new website. And uh, currently it's locked with thrifted is the term to get in just because I want to be able to list products, but I'm not actually completely ready. Uh, I'm still working on getting the shots and figuring out the website, which took me a second. And I've been going with the I try so much in a day and once I get so frustrated, I just pause and say I'll pick it up the next day. Uh, no one's dying over jewelry and anything we're doing here, so it's nice. But I got those and I actually get, got to give it to the lady who has checked me out the last four times. Yes, the lady that I accidentally grabbed her hair, that lady. But she checked me out and I gave her my little business card, card because I was like, check me out. Although I did realize once I got home that my business card has my number, my email, and my website, but it doesn't have my Instagram account, which I feel like I'm most active and actually have followers comparatively to everything else. Um, but I was excited about that, and then I'm just going to reprint them with the Instagram uh, probably in the next couple of days, and then possibly with my Twitch, even though I know that this really... I might just make separate ones for my Twitch, honestly. Um, just because i don't know i don't know how much crossover i kind of just do this for funsies and i have a blast and uh yeah so uh now that that preamble is a whole five minutes long let's get started um let's go with the necklaces first i got this little guy so everything was on sale except for yellow 
he was not on sale and you're gonna see that I actually got a lot of items this time and not for sale uh, I've ventured out a little bit um, but I like him and I'll even show him on the swan little me uh, I like that he's just a simple little choker um, I really enjoyed these little blue beads right here they've got a little bit of that iridescence to them and it's just a simple little guy and for a dollar how can you remotely be that price uh, you just can't so I bought it um, going on to other necklaces Although I don't think that I'm going to actually take that apart. I actually really like chokers and I imagine that they'll be back in. Um, so I'm not tearing that apart. That I'm actually just buying for myself. <laughs> and then we have this guy and this guy was a uh, $1.99. And I did actually see it I think last week but it wasn't on sale so I didn't get it. So I waited for it this week to go and get it. And this is another one that uh, I'm not taking apart for beads. I'm just going to end up wearing it myself. Uh, I really like the length of it, and I just think it's really pretty. So I was excited for that little guy. And then this is the last of the necklaces. I didn't end up getting a whole lot. I also only had $60, so I was trying not to go over how much money I actually had. Uh, plus, I've just poured so much money into everything recently that I'm like, oh my god. Uh, it was that moment where you have to like check your bank account balance before you decide what you buy that day um, But I found this guy and he was actually one of the first ones that I saw and he's interesting because he has these like flaws in him You can't really see this one Nope, I don't think you can see it at all. Yes, you can uh, It has like a couple little like marks on it and little blemishes but I really liked the color of pink it is just because it's this beautiful baby pink and I actually think these are going to be wide enough to go on to the little tiny green plant sticks and I think they could turn out to be really really cute and uh, I think it could be very fun and I like doing them. Um, it is going to have to be cleaned up quite a bit because these are filthy and I do want to see if I can get that stain out at all. But I was excited for them and I like them a whole lot. The other nice thing about using those plant sticks is that because the beads are so much bigger and everything else, it's so much quicker comparatively to making um, little charms. So I got that guy that we'll add to the jewelry pile right down there. And let's see, everything else looks like pins except I did end up getting one bracelet and he kind of ended up falling into my basket and then I went to put him back and I was like, oh, he's so cute. I do need to actually go get him. And I feel like it was meant to be if uh, that's how it happened and how he came to my little life. He was a dollar originally, but I got him for 50 cents. And all he is is a very delicate little silver train and a cute little heart at the end of it. I just thought it was really cute. I don't know if I'm gonna find someone who likes it possibly. Um, or what I'm gonna do with it, but I liked him for 50 cents. I don't think that he is big enough for my ankle or my wrist, although now I kind of want to check really quickly before I decide that I need to give it up. Actually, size-wise, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be for my wrist. I may actually keep this for myself. Normally, I can't stand bracelets that are too big, uh, I forget how large my wrist is. I think it might be like six inches, but so anything that's above, I think seven inches are just, just way too big and it never works out and then they fall off and then it's terrible. But I did get a whole lot of pins because I've been obsessed is one word to call it. Um, having fun is another, right? <laughs> uh, this pin is the best pin that I actually got. Um, and what's funny is that it says it's details TM, uh, and then it just says made in Korea, not South Korea or North Korea, just Korea. But this is this gorgeous little pin. Like how elegant and amazing does that look? I just really liked it. I like the way that it looks so formal. And yeah, I just think that this is like perfect. If you want to talk about like pins that deserve to be on a shirt and in charge, this is one of those pins. So I was really happy with that one. I'm actually super duper excited to add into my collection and I can't wait. But uh, moving on, I'm trying to think of like, I want some of my 
favorite pins to be left till last one. Uh, this was originally a dollar ninety nine, but I got this guy for a dollar, and I almost went back and forth of actually getting it or not, just because it is a gun. Not to, you know, spoil the surprise, but this little guy is a little tiny gun. He is a pin, and he's actually a double pin, so he actually has two on them, and he's a little tiny gun. I don't know what I would be using this for. I don't know if it's supposed to establish that I am a gangster, or what it would do, or why I would use it, but I like it. I think that it was really kind of cool and it's not something that I have and it is kind of like a very punk rock moment, although I don't know how I honestly feel about guns, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Alrighty, let me go with these guys next. So $1.99 originally red tag, but I got it on sale for a dollar each. And we have this little guy that just has an insert your photo there thing, which I thought was really darling and cute. And then we have this little guy that I also thought was darling. Now this is kind of like a wreath that has those pearls and those stones. And neither of these are very easy for you to see whatsoever. So let me see about this one. It's getting you a little bit more. A little bit better. It's still really hard to see, but it's just a really pretty wreath. And then this one is just the insert your photo here. And I thought that was kind of cute. I'm not completely in love with the outside, um, but I did like that it was a little tiny photo. And I mean, since I got them for 50 cents each, what am I really risking here? So we're getting down to it. And this isn't bad time whatsoever. Not so bad at all. This was a dollar ninety nine, but I got them half off, so I only paid fifty cents a peach uh, piece, which wasn't that bad. And now I wish that I would have gotten peach luster there, but they didn't have any. So we have this little guy who's just a cute little swan, and then we have this guy, which is it looks like it was originally Avon, if that looks correctly, and is a cute little wreath. I find it so funny, um, especially because I personally uh, remember Avon whenever I was a little girl a little bit. Um, so we definitely had people, and I used to love their uh, colored eyeliners, and I actually liked a lot of their eyeliners uh, for the price point and everything else, plus my mom let me buy them. Um, but their actual jewelry and their like one-off things, they had really good style and they did a really good job. I'm still in love with their like Christmas red collection, but I'm always just surprised whenever I find things that are Avon and I'm like, ooh, Avon, which wouldn't seem that way, but it is and it works out. So let's go back. We are winding down. We've only got three more pins, two of which are in this little bag. And this guy was originally a dollar ninety nine, but I got him for a dollar. And I'll show you these little guys. So this is just a plain little stick pin with some uh, I would just say baby blue uh, little rhinestones in it. So very cute, nothing too fancy, uh, just a little cutie. But then I also got this guy that is really cool. So this is actually a key, and the stopper for it is, oh, where is it? Is the actual key. So it actually locks in, and I thought that was so cute. And if you want to talk about another thing from Avon, this was Avon's little guy, and it's a little locking key that I just thought was darling. Okay, we're going to take just a quick list look at it. Look at that cute little key. Do you not just want to lock something away? Um, it's darling, and I am thrilled with it. And then this little guy is just a little bit better picture of that little blue flower rhinestone. And now we're down to the last piece of jewelry that I have. This 
was a dollar ninety nine, and this one was full price. But as soon as I show it to you, I think you're going to possibly understand why I still loved her and got her. Um, she is a little tiny skeleton queen that looks like her head's about to fall off. She has these little tiny arms and she's carrying a little rose. She even has little tiny feet that has little tiny heels on them. She's in her little dress. She has some feathers in her hat. She has feathers in her hat. How darling adorable is she? I thought that she was so damn cute. She even has little boobies. She has little boobies. If you, let's go take a look on the little swan. Do you see these ample bosoms that she's having down there? She has some bosoms. She definitely has some bosoms. I'm not going to look under her skirt. Yes, I am. Oh my God. She has legs for days. I'm so jealous of an inanimate object. And that is meant to look like a human. She has a lovely figure in legs for days. So I guess that that's it with the whole little, she needs to be facing. Oh, look at her shine. Um, she's a little creepy, but I like her. Um, that was my jewelry haul for today. And if you want to stick around, we will get into our other stuff. So now that we've done all of our jewelry, let's get into our uh, everything but jewelry or the uh, glass category, however you want to categorize this. So I did get a couple of things. Let me show you these shoes first. And these are actually my size, if you can believe it, because normally they're either like size six shoes or they're size like 10. So to find like an eight is almost insane. And I think these are still an eight and a half. So I ended up squeezing my feet in them because they're not heels. Uh, they're a little bit big. I just really liked the color of them. Now I was trying them on and I did, I was wearing pants earlier. Um, and they look good with pants. They could definitely like pop an outfit especially, which I could definitely see me wearing. But I also just wondered if I could do it with like a cute little skirt. I have this like green old vintage -y skirt that I think these shoes might give it a cool feel with it. So I got him and he was originally $6, but I got him on sale for $3. And for $3, I figured these shoes were worth it, especially because they are calico. And it looks like they definitely have real parts of leather in the leather seaming. Um, and it looks like they're actually really well made. So the fact that they were only originally priced at $6 means that whoever priced them probably thought that they were hideous. Um, because the quality is here and they're barely worn, which does tell me that I think that they had an issue with matching it possibly, but they don't have my skirt. So maybe they just needed to have more clothes. Um, I know because that's clearly the solution to everything, right? This guy was full price. Now, there was actually two beaded bags there. Both of them were full price. There was this one that was $2.99 that I ended up getting. And then there was one that was $3.99 and white and really pretty. But there were parts of it that I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that stain out. And you're not on sale and you're a little bit bent. And I was like, eh, I'm not going to do you. Um, and especially because I was already fine found this one. If I hadn't found this one, maybe the other one could have tried to convince me. But... It wasn't that bad. This was $2.99. I did pay full price. Um, it does have two different, um, what do I want to go and call it? Untethered strings? No, there's a word. It has two mistakes? No. There's a word for it. Uh, it has this little guy right here that the thread's coming undone and then it does at the side too but if you see it you can barely really tell imperfections that's the word that i was looking for is imperfections but he's such a cute little shell purse and i love him and i cannot wait for him to join my little collection that is growing and is adorable 
and makes me extremely happy especially whenever I tell people like oh do you want to see my bead purses and then I pull out my entire collection and show people them and I know that you're surprised to find out that I like showing people my collections I know it's the most shocking thing in the entire world I would have never pegged me for someone who enjoys doing that <laughs> um this next one I got it was a $1.99 red so I think I only paid a dollar for them um, it's actually kind of cute because this is an actual kit that if I wanted to, like it came with thread that's really cute, but I actually didn't get it to do a cross stitch with. I actually got it so that I could steal these little guys and that way whenever I am, um, filming the little tiny pins, oh my god, this is old by quite a bit of moments. Um, I really wanted to show you this guy. And this is why we should have... That took a second. But, look at this guy. And what I should be able to do with him... Although that's interesting. It sews in. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. This is a different type of um, embroidery loop than I'm used to. I'm actually glad that I opened it up. That's really interesting. It almost has like a wooden ring that goes on top of it instead of uh, with one of those like tightening guys. So let me see if I can actually get it to go on for us at the moment. How terrible would it be had I broken this on camera? But, so the little tiny uh, idea behind this little guy is so that I can do things like this. So I can put the little pin on the embroidery loop and I can kind of uh, allow it for a little bit more of styling. Um, that way you can also see it so it'll make it easier if I'm trying to like layer things. I also just think that it's really pretty. Oh my God, Alexa's going off. So uh, I'm happy and excited for both of these. Um, I've also seen other people use like um, glitter fabric on these and make it look really pretty with the pins. But I was excited and happy for this little guy, and I think he will work really well. And I know that I keep on saying that I've gotten into photography and that I have bought in so many items and so many things so that it makes it easier for me to take pictures of things. But I do have quite a bit, and it is pretty nice. And if you've checked out my Instagram lately, um, although I don't know if I posted yesterday, I think I did. Um, I've been posting pretty regularly. I think I've only missed like one day in the past like two weeks. I think I'm up to like 240 subscribers, which isn't too bad at all. Um, so I'm a little bit happy for that. I only realized that so... This guy was supposed to be on the embroidery loop, and that's why I thought that it wasn't the type, like it wasn't like a wrap over, that it was one of those like tightening ones. And I thought that this was like the tightening mechanism. I only am now realizing that you've got to screw this thing in somewhere. It looks like it's meant to actually screw in for the final product so you can hang it, but that would be so sad. I don't know. I feel like it would destroy it. Oh, well. Uh, if you're watching this, Sarah, please cut this part out. Um, so that is for all of the non-glass stuff-ish. Um, we'll go with this guy, which he's not um, thrifted. This is from Amazon. But uh, yeah. It came in, and apparently my boyfriend has been like, you've got a package, you've got a package, you've got a package. And I was like, yeah, I know, it's okay, it can stay there, it's not the end of the world. Um, but I want to see 
what I ended up getting. And it's exactly what I thought it was. So what this is, is uh, I've got some stickers that are supposed to be a little bit better for candle ones because a lot of the ones that I used, I went to the dollar store and got them because uh, the dollar store, yes, please. Um, but they kind of like melt and come off whenever I put the wax in. So maybe these won't be. It also has warning signs, which I like and that if I need to sell them in stores would help. But what I really did is I got this for these guys. So if you can see, these are seven inches long and they have multiple different holes drilled into them and they are to help keep the wicks in place because I have quite a few ones that weren't, that are too big for the metal one. And I have quite a few candles now that I don't know because I can't fix it afterwards. Like you would think like reheat it, but like with the soy wax, it ends up like crystallizing and you can tell that it wasn't done perfectly. So I have quite a few different candles now that uh, are in the did not go well category because their wick was not centered. So hopefully this will help me with that. And it can be added to all of my candle supplies. I also finally got a big rack. Um, it was one of those like five tier uh, metal racks. It's not super wide or anything. Um, it was originally like $70 at Aldi's and I got it for 40. And whenever the uh, lady like rung it up, like she looked at it and then she looked at the price and then she looked at it and then she looked at the price and I was like, is everything okay? And she's like, is that on sale? And I was like, yeah, it is. And she's like, oh, and like she was like shocked and also jealous because she had bought all of her shelves whenever they weren't on sale. Um, but it was a really good price and I was happy that I found it. So I did that one. Um, before we get to the glass, let me show you what else I was doing. So one of the projects that I've been doing is turning and making little tiny bags. So uh, it's kind of funny. So like some of this stuff I've either gotten from clothes that was going that were going to be donated or I actually got the fabric from red, white, and blue because they actually sell fabric bags. And I know whenever people tell me that, or I told people that, they're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, they do. Although a lot of the times it's kind of like, oh, this was a stain sheet and we'll just cut off the part that isn't and cut it up into fabric things. And they are kind of tiny or square, so you can't do a ton with them. But they make for cute little bags. Um, and I like them. So I made a couple of these. Um, I ended up breaking a needle and having my entire bobbin guy come out, but as soon as I kind of got it rocking and rolling, it wasn't that bad. Um, but I made some of these bags because I need to have bags to go and give my stuff away. Uh, and I think it looks kind of nice and gives it just a little bit more of a touch of detail. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll end up doing all of that stuff. Um, the only other thing, and this is going back to the wax uh, kind of problem earlier that I was having where uh, the 45 pounds cost $90, but shipping is $70 for it. Uh, the wax that I use is 100% soy wax, and it's a really good blend. However, um, or I guess like whoever makes it, like the batch is good, it's 100% soy, but they do a good job of converting like soy into soy wax. Um, a lot of them though, so there are ones that are still 100% soy that have a higher melting temperature. And then there are ones that are, um, have beeswax mixed in. And both of those actually allow it to be easier to be shipping, especially during summer months, because I think that the like melting point is like 118 degrees. And even though it might not get like the outside isn't that hot inside some of those like shipping containers and trucks, it gets so hot that it would melt. And I would hate for my candles to be like arriving half melted. So I do think that I might only do like the candles for myself or I might literally just pack them with ice packs. I do have ice packs. I do end up getting home chefs delivered to me every single week. So it's not like I wouldn't have ice packs, but then I'm shipping the weight of the candle and the ice pack. So maybe I'll just sell them locally, but 
These will be the little bags and then I've just got some more fabric there that I need to uh, cut up and pull together. And now we're gonna try and make a sprint to get through the glass stuff that I got because my stomach just said, hey ho Sarah, we're not feeling too good. So let's get into the glass portion and let's wrap this baby up. As I say that, I immediately don't go into the nice new glass. Uh, I did just want to show you, I grabbed one of my candles that I made over the weekend. This is one of my best candles so far. Not only is it colored glass, and it smells so good. It smells amazing. The wick's a great wick. Um, and if you can see, the top looks almost perfect perfect it was literally almost a perfect pour which does not always happen uh and it has really great side adhesion so i did the rubbing alcohol to clean it out but what i also did is i put it in my oven and my oven only goes down to 170 degrees which i really wish that it could go down even further because if it could be like 120 degrees then i wouldn't have to worry about like taking it out because you so right now like I need these to be like 100, 120 degrees for me to pour the wax in, but my oven only goes down to 170, so I have to like take them out whenever I put the oil in and then kind of try and hope. Um, I will say that warming up the sides of the glass did seem to do a really good job of getting better adhesion. Um, that combined with the rubbing alcohol, so hopefully this kind of stays. This would be ideal. Um, this is definitely one of those ones that are like perfectly made, ready to be sold at a good high price not high price but like it's a quality candle that looks like it was made with actual skill which it did take skill this is not how my first ones came out so we have that one uh let me show you the glass that i got for candle making um i actually only brought up one of them because i only had time to clean one of them but I got another cute little teacup, and it's hard to see, it is painted on it. And then at the very bottom, and it's hard to see, it says Noritake Hand Painted Japan, and then it has the number on it. But so it has this and a little uh plate itself has some more little painting on it and i think these will be absolutely darling candles and i got um i have the prices right here i got these were five for 14.99 but it was half off so i only paid 750 for the set of them which isn't too bad whatsoever um these are very much nicer and i mean the fact that we have the actual sourcing of what country it came from and who made it, um, plus the fact that it was hand-painted, I think that I'll be able to get my money back. And the other thing that is kind of nice, as much as I don't fully know how I feel about this, uh, this, um, even though the price of the actual piece is more expensive, this does not carry nearly as much wax as this guy does, so he won't actually cost so much in wax which is good because right now my wax is one of the biggest prices that I have. So that'll be very cute. I think that it'll look at how cute of a little gift that could be. Um, so I really liked that one. And then I also got this guy right here. It's a little tiny uh, crystal star and it says that it was made in Romania and it's handcrafted crystal. So uh, I'm going to have a fun time trying to get this sticker off of here without ruining it i may just honestly heat it up which sounds kind of weird but maybe if i can get the sticker hot enough i can get it to just peel off and then i can put it on the bottom or just put it with the note card that came with it um not came with it that i like make for some of them it's just that you're not going to be able to see that underneath the wax so you're just going to see the bottom which i guess isn't that bad but I don't know it has a beautiful uh, star at the very bottom too um, this is gorgeous um, so I might just keep him to the side too um, I think he would make a really really great one but I need to stop having these categories of things where it's like I like them and I want to keep them so I'll just put them in a separate storage for whenever I run out of the stuff that I really want to sell
But so far, I just have everything. He's pretty, though. Um, that was it that I actually got. So I only got those little teacups and that star for candle making. This one is what I like to refer to as a gorgeous glass swan. And I'm not, he could become a candle if I ran out of room for him, but look at how pretty he is. He has these gorgeous feathers and look at how gorgeous his old face is. He's so pretty. So I'm gonna keep this one for myself. Um, I think that he's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I love him. Uh, I definitely need to build more shelves in my house, but I think that he is darling. And he was actually originally $7.99, but I got him half off and I saw him last week too. And I was like, I cannot pay that amount for this glass swan. And I was surprised that he was still there, but so I got him for myself. Um, this next one I got for photos is what I want to say. I want to say that I got it for photos. I've actually had quite a few of these containers throughout my life, although I don't know what I've done with them because I used to have a green one that was just like this, but now I can't remember what I did with it. I feel like it might have just been left at my parents' house. I did that with quite a few of my stuff. But it opens up into a mirrored guy, and I got him for photos and the fact that I thought that he was cute. Um... I did have to pay full price for this guy, but he's very cute. Um, he was only $4, and it's funny because, so at the bottom it says, Kirops International, made in China. But it says it was originally $17.50, which makes sense because... expensive essentially they're just stained glass triangles with a little tiny hinge guy and this hinge isn't even a hinge all it is is um it looks like like hot glue honestly is like this sealant that ends up having it hooked so i mean it's interesting and i like it and i thought he was darling so i got him i also got this little beauty that uh I'm gonna need to keep the top off of it for a little bit because whenever I washed it, it looks like there's still some water in there. But look at how gorgeous that guy is. How much hair would I cut for that? That's a really weird question. Um, the answer is, uh, no. I mean, I have to say that I used to, I know that what you're asking, but I used to religiously cut my own hair and this was before the pandemic because I didn't like the interactions and I thought that I could do it. And I thought that I was doing an excellent job. Um, but then like, I would say like maybe half a year ago, um, I ended up deciding, you know what, like I've got a lot of split ends and I'm gonna treat myself. I'm gonna go get my hair actually cut by a professional and uh she was like oh no i can tell that you cut your own hair yeah no oh you've been doing that for years yeah no i can tell you cut your own hair and i was like oh, okay and then i came home and uh i will say that my boyfriend knew that i was getting my hair cut except so like it wasn't like it was that much of a shock but he was like oh my god your hair looks so amazing this is fantastic and like he was in love with it and i was like oh so i guess maybe i wasn't doing that good of a job cutting my own hair um but I did technically uh, save it. Uh, and yeah, I'm not going to cut off my hair for money. But <laughs> there is this guy. Uh, I have no idea what I will use him for. Um, I don't know. I can cut all of this out. Let me go and make sure if anybody else is actually watching me before I interact with you too much. Oh, I only have one viewer. Um, I mean, yeah, I need to get my hair cut. Are you offering to just pay for me? I mean, no, because I like long hair and it's summer and I'm about to braid my hair. Um, I do need to get it cut, but Lord, I'm not going to cut it short. Um, anyways, 
Uh, I only have one last piece. I also find it ironic that I swear to God in every single stream, I go to like the very end and that's whenever someone interacts with me. And I thought by moving it from like 1130 to 12, it is a no. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Have fun though. Uh, hopefully you can find someone. I will say that, uh, my ex-girlfriend decided to cut off all of her beautiful hair and I've just been waiting for uh, her not to be bald again. And then, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, let me show you this last little piece really quick. Uh, it's this tiny, cute little uh, pink. I don't know if it actually is Depression Era glass. It says that it's made in Mexico. Um, I got these just to add to my collection because I really like uh, pink glass and I've been eating off of them. And I also think that it would be so pretty to have like this next with like my blue bubbles. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have that. Um, I had a good day. I'm sorry that I'm not gonna cut my hair off for you, but uh, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.